Hello, welcome back. In our previous video, we have seen how to create the snow effect by scattering some points only on the top of the object and then converting it into a VDB to create the snow. So if you missed this video, you can go back and watch. There is a link in the description. Let's move on to today's topic, which is scattering by distance to the other object. Let's start. So let's drop a geometry, rename it to scatter by distance. Let's drop a grid and increase the divisions. Let's drop a, this time let's use Tommy or maybe the, let's use the rubber toy again. Okay, let's start. So to, to scatter some points using an attribute, we need to create the attribute first. So let's create an attribute using attribute create sop. Let's name it to density. Let's keep the density to zero in all the grid. And then we can also create the attribute in this object and keep this to one. So currently it looks weird because it's also displaying the material of the object. To disable that you can either click here or also you can turn off the lighting completely to show it flat. Okay, so we have an attribute called density is set to 1 in this object and it's, it's set to 0 in this object. So let's do an attribute transfer. So this is a node which is really useful. Here you can connect the connect the first input in the in the grid and the second input on the object which you want to scatter around. Okay. So let's look at here. This this attribute transfer sop is going to transfer any attribute from this this uh, pipe the second input to the first input so here we have one and here we have zero so that's why you can see this grid is now completely one like uh, i'll show you with the gradient map so that you understand it a little better let's change this to grayscale so yeah so currently this density attribute is zero that's why it's black and here the density attribute is 1 that's why it is white so when you transfer this one to the grid you get everywhere become its white but the beauty is you can adjust the distance so by decreasing this you can see we are adjusting the distance of the attribute transfer and also you can increase the blend width to have some smoother transition so that's how you can create an attribute around the object and then we can use that same attribute to scatter so like this you just uh, enable the density once you do that you have the object you have the point scatter around that particular object so to visualize it we can just merge them together like this yeah and also you can just move the move the object and it's going to follow i hope you found this useful learning little tricks every day like this is one of the easiest way to learn houdini if you wish to learn more in easy way hit that subscribe button so that you receive my videos as soon as i publish hope you found this useful if you want in-depth tutorial of any of these topics you can always let me know in the comment section thanks a lot for watching